Here we are in our studio. Like we were yesterday and probably will be also tomorrow and, and the, the next, next day, day and, and the, the next, next day <laughs> after that. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome back to the studio during our quarantine time. Bum, ba, da, I'm thinking that today we're going to talk about let's keep going, let's not quit, let's keep being badasses. In other words, don't stop, get it, get it, make Man, your art fan, so fan. someone sees it. It is a very challenging and weird time, and we thought that we would put this video together and just talk about some of the things that we're doing or keeping in mind here in the studio while all of this is going on. So I woke up this morning and I looked outside and it was a little bit gray outside. And I was like, man, I don't feel so great this morning because it's gray outside. I hate when it's gray. Why can't it be nice outside? Like, that was my... What amazing things would you do if it was nice outside? I'd do the same. <laughs> I'd do the same. You'd be in here filming this video. Shut up! And in no way, shape, or form do we want to make light of the situation, but uh, it could really, really wreak havoc on your emotional state and in on your creativity as an artist. Cabin fever is real. Yeah. Anxiety yeah. is real. Yeah. Wearing pajamas all day is real. Speaking of which, why aren't you wearing pajamas? Because I'm on film. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have a secret where we keep going and we're doing this creative thing, even though financially, emotionally, and uh, community-wise, things are a little bit sucktastic right now. It almost feels like my inner thoughts, like those negative inner thoughts, are a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. So like, the other day I was looking in the mirror and it was like, FAT! 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 Old! Old! Fat! Bald! Fat! Harry! <laughs> Harry! Fat! Harry! Fat! Yesterday, I posted a video on our blog because I lost 100 pages to the audiobook that I've been recording. Financially, you know, I talk about multiple streams of income. Financially, a lot of those streams of income have uh, dried up. Yeah, they went from like lovely babbling brooks to like dry creek beds. Yeah. But what did you do just now? I just finished highlighting approximately 800 itemized things on several bank statements. Oh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, but I got to use four different colors of highlighter. Line item it is, whether it's an online sale or- He has been highlighting the bank records, itemizing sales. And expensive. What a boring thing to talk about to our YouTube snails. That was a... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You should just thank someone for their critique before they even finish. <laughs> so we have seven helpful things that we keep in mind. Yeah. Swimming around amidst perhaps the other things that we have in mind that are less helpful. So one of the first things, number one, is... Uh, perspective. Well, it can mean several things, Rafi. It can mean drawing a dot on the horizon line. And then using a flat no, ruler. To no, find your not that kind point. of per not that kind of perspective. Especially when it comes to us being creatives and being in the studio and being inside. Although that is something that a lot of us are used to, uh, being amidst solitude in a studio, uh, things are just different out there. Yeah. And I think because of that, like it is easy to downward spiral into a perspective that is way less empowering than. I'm a freaking creative badass, and I'm going to do the most that I can do at this point with my creativity. They saw that award, didn't they? Shh. Hey. They could see it again. Hey. Hey what? The perspective. What perspective? Is covering my face. Yeah. The perspective of my award that I won. I agree with doing the most. I've been reading a lot of articles, you know, because I was like, I gotta stay informed. Yeah. I gotta be informed. Trust me, I am informed to the max. <laughs> so you gotta change it up and also do things that are not news. I have read um, hundreds more articles than ever. Like, I've probably read more articles over the last however long 
then like combined for a, the previous year. Mm -hmm. I'm very informed right now. Very, very informed. I've had a headache for like a month. From reading? <laughs> I don't know. From learning? <laughs> from being informed. I get a headache from being informed and learning. Do things that are not news. That's number one. No, number one is... Uh, keep perspective. Keep perspective. Number two is innovation. Keep innovating. Keep growing. Keep evolving. If you keep this here, it's going to get paint all over it. Then it'll be a collaboration. <laughs> I don't understand. Did you win or did you not win? I won. Because things are kind of in, at a standstill, it is easy to stagnate. Especially if you're focused on that stuff. <laughs> Realize that in your studio, you could keep innovating, you could keep growing, you could keep expanding your career. Take the opportunity now to go online and look at all the online opportunities that there are, not only for artists, but for small business. Just any opportunity that you have to put your stuff out there, things that you have possibly been avoiding. I don't have enough time or, uh, oh, I don't know enough about Instagram to get my stuff on Instagram. Put your stuff on Instagram. You have time to figure it out and play around with it. Now is definitely the time to try the things that you've been avoiding. What kind of things have you been putting that... What kind of things have you been putting? Talk what, more good. What kind of, what kind of things uh, have you been doing lately that you had been putting off? Oh, everything. Pretty much. <laughs> Most mornings I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. But, you know, I've been trying the fachunking method yeah. of doing things. Yeah, just five minutes. And there's so much out there. There's YouTube University. There's Skillshare. Chris Hemsworth is giving workout tutorials. So a lot of people are working out now that didn't before. Oh, I want to look like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> I mean, everyone wants to look like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> so we have the punching bag, which helps with pent up energy, yeah. which is great where it's hanging because anytime I walk by it, I'm like, Pee! And know. we have some at home exercise equipment, which is currently um, functioning as a place for me to put laundry. My clothes is fit and I know I'm not. <laughs> so my clothes don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> my clothes don't fit. <laughs> We're gonna get some comments. We're gonna get comments. Somebody's gonna be like, fat, 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 bald, bald. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm also seeing a lot of new inventions that didn't exist before. Yes, the Rube Goldberg contraptions. Yeah. Like, I want to do like a full on domino set. Uh, bowling ball thing. Levers and pulleys. Levers and pulleys and like just have fun uh, thinking outside of the box and doing things that maybe I wouldn't necessarily do because I didn't feel like I had enough time to do it. If you are doing anything to get your creative juices flowing, uh, then you are innovating and you are playing around with things that you've not played around with before. Um, that has a huge impact on your creative abilities and your motivation and your self-esteem. Yeah, and if your brain's like, this is not productive, you have a license to be like, shut up, brain. Yeah. You have limited speaking capabilities in this time. <laughs> Focus on what you can do and don't dwell on what you can't do anything about. We've gotten some negative comments on a lot of the videos that we've done uh, that have to do with like staying positive and stuff because a lot of people are thinking that we're in a better boat than they are financially. And in all honesty, like at this point in time, we're, we're all a little bit screwed. Static cling is my nemesis. Focus on what you can do, not what you can't do. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> when you are an artist, you are very used to having uncertainty revolving around your finances because it's not its not like you're getting a paycheck every two weeks or anything like that. The fact that our mindset, we're used to not dwelling on the uncertainty and we're used to not focusing on the things that we don't have control over. Um, and that's where innovation comes in and trying out the things that you haven't done before. Basically, just making the most of a situation by focusing on what you can do something about versus just dwelling and being stagnant and stuck in a place where you feel like there's nothing you can do. Tradition! 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 
And we don't mean scrambling around and putting yourself in a bad emotional state in an attempt to make money. We just mean focus on what you can do to keep yourself going. Yeah, exactly. One of the other things that we're doing is making sure that we are not blaming anyone else for the situation that we're in. To some extent, I have to find things to do that are quiet while you record the audiobook. Yeah, for only two hours. Yeah. See, this is the this is what I mean about blaming. <laughs> nice job. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, but it is your fault. <laughs> no, it's not. Blaming anyone else, uh, whether it is a person, a place, an a thing, an institution, uh, can be extremely disempowering and lead to another downward spiral, which completely uh, destroys your creativity or your sense of uh, being able to handle things. How can I make the most of this situation? Because... Man, this situation sucks. This really sucks. So what can I do right now that is going to keep me in an empowered place and like be able to be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's carpe the diem. Seize know? the carp. Seize the carp. Now, if someone's being craptastic to you, that doesn't mean you have to take it. You might have to write a stern letter or take some action. Yeah, especially nowadays because there are so many people that are kind of together, you know, like yeah. spouses that are used to leaving the house. Now they're all at home or extended family members. Yeah. New couples with the poop. Thing. Yeah, having to have the poop conversation for the first time. You sound like a crazy person right now. You sound like a crazy person right now. <laughs> a ukulele song. <laughs> you sound like a crazy person. It takes one to know one. There's an amplification of the crazy. Sometimes it's entertaining. And sometimes it's not entertaining at all. Why, why are and you looking just... at me like that? <laughs> oh, yes! You all saw it! Do I have to try My to plan work! <laughs> seen stuff on the interwebs about, like, you know, landlords thinking that they're going to evict people right now, and, like, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, so, I mean, you may be having to deal with some a holes, and if you're dealing with some a holes, uh, you know, treat them like the a-hole that they are. You always do have a choice on how it is that you decide to feel about a certain situation and what perspective you're going to have about the situation that you're in. Don't quit! I didn't quit. Don't quit. I just... The next one, which ties into just about everything else on this list, is the opportunity to do the things that you've been putting off. recording an audiobook, certain commissions, pushing outside of my comfort zone in certain ways. Obviously, the opportunity to do the things that maybe you've been putting off that you felt like you didn't have time to do. Like needle felting and lost wax casting. Yep. All those things that you're like, man, I wish I had more time. Well, YouTube University, Skillshare, all of those places that you could go online and learn some stuff and just get started on it. I learned how to use FaceTime during this. <laughs> I know, I know. You guys are like, really? You know, the other cool thing is that people are taking this time not only to share humor, to share stories, to share experiences, but to share resources to yeah. come together. And new resources are cropping up all the time. Absolutely. That will survive past this bad situation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Speaking of resources, we have a resources section on our website that you could go to and anything that helps small business, freelance artists, gig workers, uh, anybody that is in the arts or a small business. Um, anytime we run across anything on the web that has grants or financial assistance or information, we post it on our resources page. So you guys are welcome to go to rafiandclee.com and just click on the resources section. You know, and some people out there are going to scoff at this video and say like, well, Rafi, you know, it's easy for you to say because you guys are in a good position. And yes, we are in a fantastic position because we are artists. Uh, we love each other. We already spend all day with each other. But if you're talking about finances or you're talking about you've got your emotions in check, or you're talking about anything like that, uh, we're in the same boat. 
as anybody else. They're going to be like, Oh, Ruffy and Clay, but you're so lucky. You get to meet the like I I mean, I'm talking about the haters. That's not what our YouTube following sounds like. So when it comes to like staying positive and staying focused on being empowered, that's where we're coming from because that's the only way that we're really going to get through this, not only emotionally, but financially and everything else to do with this. Absolutely. We've been scared. We've been anxious. We've been down. We've been demotivated. We've been questioning where the monies are going to come from. We've been confused and everything in between, but we're choosing to at least give it our best yeah. every day, every moment. Your sense of humor. How's your sense of humor been doing? I don't know. You would be a better judge of that. I think I'm funny all the time. Yes. Yes, you are. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes the only thing that I can focus on in a day that is way more empowering than everything else that's going on is realizing like, you know what? I'm going to make the most of this moment right now. I'm going to make the most of this day. Create stuff because you're an artist. You create stuff. Put your stuff out there. Put yourself out there in whichever way you possibly can within reason. Obviously, at this point in time, online is the best way to put your stuff out there. And then persist through all the bullshit and all the craptastic insecurities that you might have and just keep going. Don't allow yourself to quit. Don't believe the excuses that you're going to come up with. They're like, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'm blaming this person and society doesn't even... Whatever excuses you have used to keep yourself from being a badass, get rid of all those excuses and just push through them and keep going. We get an overwhelming amount of messages from people that are just being badass already and they are so inspiring and so a lot of our youtube following is already doing like all of this badassery out there and creating stuff and putting themselves out there and and even with everything that is going on and that you guys is so inspiring and thank you for sharing your stories with us because you guys are awesome. However inspired you might be by our stuff, we are equally inspired by all the amazing things you guys are doing and sharing right now. Other than that, lots of dance parties and laughter and Clee and I have been practicing music and doing uh, everything creatively possible that we can do. So much so that even the stupid pages of my book being deleted um, just did not we're not able to bring me down. And we're curious to hear what your five rules are for getting through this time. And if you can just list those in the comments section below, those would be awesome to read. This is not a sweater continuity error that you're witnessing. Not at all. But we do want to mention the fact that we were interviewed on a podcast called Curious Kirby. Uh, it was a really, really awesome interview. Yeah, it was. She's so much fun to and, talk to. And we've got the link in the description below. So if you're interested in hearing us being interviewed, uh, where she talks about living an artist's life, how we started, and the whole nine yards, a bunch of really, really good uh, questions, and hopefully we had good answers for it. So if you want to listen to that... Go to the link in the description and you can listen to us on Curious Kirby. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And take care of yourselves and stay safe. And uh, if you like this and you want to watch videos like this, not really, but yes, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios. Adios.